Hey everyone, David here. Uh, hadn't been on in a while, but I thought this would be a very good educational video. Uh, we are talking about female poultry and their reproductive system. Uh, here's a great photo of the reproductive system. And uh, starting at the top, it'll have the ovaries, then it has the oviduct. There's actually an egg inside of the oviduct, and then it comes out. But uh, we'll go through each part, uh, pretty, pretty cool. Um, and yeah, so here we go. So here we have uh, follicles. Uh, when a chick is, female chick is born, she is born with every single follicle that she will possibly even produce. Uh, through the uh, maturing of the chick, or pull it, it will start uh, developing longer or larger. And also, uh, this is from a turkey. And as the day lengths get longer, the they will start producing uh, uh, hormones that will tell them, let's start uh, making some eggs. So here we are with the ovaries and each one is a follicle and you can kind of see that suture line right there that uh, where there are no um, blood vessels that cross it so what will happen is this follicle will open up and release a yolk um, here's another example with this one this one's kind of more straight this one would probably have been the next one that would have uh, that would have been laid, and this right here, this is the uh, tissue from where the last one was laid. Uh, you see where it kind of just split right open and uh, came out. Um, what happens is when the follicle releases the or when the follicle is re uh, splits open and the yolk is released into the, it is released into the body cavity of the chicken or uh, bird. Um, and this part right here um, is called, it looks basically like a funnel. Uh, it is called the infundibulum. The infundibulum is where the, <clears throat> excuse me, um, the opening, let's see if I can find it, uh, is very, very thin. There we go. Uh, it's very thin and is where the opening to the oviduct is and this picks up that yolk from the body cavity. Um, you kind of see it there. Um, and the junction between the infundibulum and the magnum, which is this portion between between uh, me pinching, uh, this junction right here is where semen is stored uh, if they uh, if a male is present, and where the semen will fertilize the blastoderm of the yolk that that's on the yolk that goes through. The yolk is basically a food source for the chick. Um, as it is incubating in the egg. So through this magnum, there's folds uh, in, inside that kind of spiral. And when it passes through there, about 50% of the albumin or the white part of the egg is placed on and it is spinning through that, uh, through there. And it takes about, it takes about three hours to kind of go through uh, this section right here. This is, when it goes through here, it only takes about 15 minutes of the infundibulum. Uh, but when it goes through the magnum, it takes about 30, uh, sorry, three hours, and it's slowly spinning. This is where the albumin, uh, it creates these protein fibers that uh, spin and holds this yolk in the center of the egg. And then goes through uh, the isthmus where the shell membranes are placed on 
uh, and water or liquid, more albumin basically, is uh, pumped into that shell membrane to kind of plump it up. Um, then it goes to, this takes about roughly about an hour, uh, about hour and a half or so. And then here is the uterus of the um, bird. And this is where it'll sit here for about 20 hours, uh, about 20, 20 and, a half, 20 and a half hours. And this is where it is pumped full again with liquid uh, or more albumin uh, through the shell membranes and the shell of the egg is placed over that shell membrane. Um, so yeah, so we'll go through, it goes through there. This is also where the bloom is, or the, any pigment is placed onto the uh, exterior of the egg or the, uh, or and the uh, bloom of, or cuticle uh, is also placed over this egg. And then it passes through the uh, vagina right here and then out. But yeah, um, I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, there's lot, quite a lot of people that don't know this. Um, and yeah, so, and this organ here itself is, any, it ranges anywhere from 24 to 27 inches long. And this is just kind of uh, scrunched up inside the body kind of like that uh and where the ovaries are at is about halfway between the base of the neck and the tail uh so it kind of sits up against the back of the the bird but yeah every all of this is crunched scrunched up inside of the uh the hen and the uh it's, it's kind of amazing. I, I think it, it's pretty cool. And here is an egg that uh, was uh, also in one of the turkeys that I processed today. And when an egg passes through the vent of the bird, um, it kind of goes, it starts like this, and then it opens up and it pushes and it'll kind of sit here. And this area right here is the large end of the egg. And here, since the outside temperature is cooler than the inside temperature of the bird, which is roughly about 106 degrees, um, the shell membrane separates from the other shell membrane, and that's what creates the air cell in a bird or uh, in an egg. And then it passes through and gets uh, pushed out. Now, sometimes there are uh, diseases or uh, excuse me, uh, or, or genetics that sometimes this, this egg here, um, will come out small end first, which is typically not typical. Uh, it puts a lot more stress on the bird. And also, uh, there's a, uh, another term for internal layers where before it's typically put, uh, puts the shell membrane onto it. This, or puts the shell onto the egg, the shell membrane will sometimes backtrack all the way up into the body cavity and then falls back into the body cavity. And it just sits there and it slowly gets absorbed. That is called an internal layer. Uh, that typically really only happens when under very high stressful conditions um, or, or stress of a bacteria or some type of disease that's present in the bird. But yeah, um, I hope y'all enjoyed the little educational lesson and yeah, I'll, uh, I'll talk to y'all soon. Take care. Bye.